In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using the KF and KB equations. So let's start by just writing the KF and KB equations so we have them handy. The KF equation, which is the change to the freezing point of a solution, is delta TF equals KF times little m molality. So this is the change to the freezing point is equal to the freezing point constant times the molality. And the other equation that we might be using in this problem is the boiling point version of the same equation, delta TB equals KB times molality. So for this problem, you could be either calculating a boiling point or a freezing point. Uh, in this particular problem, I'm being given information about the boiling point in KB. So that means that the equation I'm going to be using is the delta TB equation. So we have the boiling point constant, and that's this right here. And then we have some information about the mass and the, um, the mass of the solute and the mass of the solvent. So we have information to calculate the molality, and we're being given the boiling point of the solution and asked to calculate the boiling point of pure, pure X, our solvent. So let's just put some labels on things here. X is our solvent, the 62 grams of urea, that is our solute. And the 124.4 is our new boiling point. I'm going to call that TB. And we want to figure out the boiling point of the pure solvent, which is being called X in this problem. What is the boiling point of pure X? Um, so in order to figure out the boiling point of the pure X, we're going to need to calculate delta TB, the change to the boiling point. We do have information to give us that um, delta TB, so let's go ahead and get started plugging stuff in. Our delta TB is going to be the boiling point constant times the molality. The boiling point constant is 1.59 degrees C per molality. Alex uses a little bit different units than I do, uh, and I'm getting that, um, that number right here. And then we're going to multiply this by the molality, which we have to calculate over here on the side because it's not being given to us directly. The molality is going to be the moles of our urea divided by the kilograms of our solvent X. We know the kilograms of the solvent, 750 grams, which is 0 0.750 kilograms, so we can plug that in. But we need to calculate the moles of urea from the 62 grams and its molecular formula. We'll do that calculation down here. 62 grams of urea. I've looked up the molecular weight of urea. One mole is 60.06 grams. So that means that we have 1.032 moles of urea. And we'll plug that into our molality equation. 1.032 moles gives us a molality of 1.376. That molality, we're plugging into our delta TB equation, 1.376 molality. The little molality units are going to cancel out, and we're going to be left with a delta TB. So the change to the boiling point is 2.188 degrees C. So now we're going to need to think a little bit about how we're going to come up with the answer to this question, because the question is not asking us to calculate delta TB, it's asking us to calculate the actual boiling point. Now I want to say before we move on to the next part, if you're being given information about freezing point, if you're doing a freezing point problem, everything that you're going to do up until this point is going to be exactly the same, whether it's a boiling point problem or a freezing point problem. But what you do from here on out is going to kind of depend on if it's boiling point or freezing point. So for the boiling point, we have this hint in the problem. It's reminding us that the boiling point of a solution is always elevated. So the boiling point is increasing due to the presence of the solvent. Our actual boiling point increase is our delta TB. Delta TB equals 2.188 degrees C. If this is a freezing point problem, freezing point goes down. So if this was a freezing point problem, you would say the freezing point decreases by whatever that number is. And now we have to, to compare. It tells us the solution 
boils at 124.4 degrees C. Pure X boils at what number? We know that the solution's boiling point has increased by 2.188 degrees C. So that means that this number right here is higher than the pure boiling point by 2.188 degrees C. So I'm gonna go to 124.4 minus the 2.188. Pure X is boiling at 122.2 degrees C. And again, uh, I know that the boiling point increases, so my pure X boiling temperature needs to be lower than my solution boiling temperature. And again, if you're doing this for freezing point, freezing point decreases. So if this was a freezing point problem, whatever my delta TB was, if I was comparing it to the solution, the pure freezing point would be higher because the freezing point drops. So if it's a boiling point question, your pure solution boils at a lower temperature. If it's a freezing point question, your pure solution freezes at a higher temperature. Problem uh, wants this answer to four sig figs, so that's gonna be 122.2 degrees C.